$5 billion housing and urban development grant today to help rebuild after Hurricane Harvey. But he's asking the federal government for a lot more. In return, the White House says the state of Texas needs to step up. KXAN's Wes Rappaport has the back and forth between leaders. We know it's going to be a long recovery, but we're going to do everything in our power to help expedite. The feds approving $5 billion for Texas in the form of what's called a community development block grant. That will go uh, to housing as well as uh, other needs that we have in the rebuilding process. But that's a fraction of the money the state wants. The governor asked for $61 billion more for Texas alone in a recent trip to Washington. The White House put forward a proposal for $44 billion in nationwide disaster funding, saying Texas should pony up more state dollars to rebuild. I don't think $44 billion is a low amount. Um, and my guess is if you ask any average citizen across this country, they wouldn't feel like it's low either. Uh, but until this point, Texas has not put any uh, state dollars into this process. We feel strongly that they should step up and play a role and work with the federal government uh, in this process. Completely inadequate uh, for the needs of the state of Texas uh, and I believe does not live up to uh, what the president wants to achieve. Senator John Cornyn says the recovery effort in Texas compares to the Northeast after Sandy and the South after Katrina. We're not going to be asking to be treated any better than anybody else. But we're sure not going to tolerate being treated worse. Harvey caused an estimated $200 billion in damage. Wes Rappaport, KXAN News. And the White House has already approved $33 billion for Texas hurricane aid since Harvey. The $61 billion Governor Abbott requested is on top of that. It's not immediately clear how much of the $44 billion the White House requested today would come here.